last week I had the chance to interview uh, Vandana Shiva. She is an environmental activist in the country of India. And she talked about Bill Gates and the Gates Foundation and the process that they've been in in order to really try to take over all of the farmland globally, but especially in terms of dominating farmers and controlling the seeds through which farmers are able to grow food. And what Vandana explains is how Gates is specifically focused on the country of India for two reasons. One, because of the fact that 1.4 billion people are fed in India off the farmland there, but also because India is such a, an emerging nation in terms of technology. And what she says is Gates is trying to combine these two things using technology to patent, to monitor, and to control farmland, as well as the seed population, GMOs and genetically modified seeds, and that he is doing so in an attempt to be able to dominate and control all of the food population around the world. She refers to him as the new Columbus. She says that his goal is to colonize as much of the world as possible and to remake it in his own image. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our interview with Vandana Shiva. His dystopia of how to control agriculture through doublespeak, through pretended fake green and fake sustainability, he will own the farms of the world. And he and the World Economic Forum, you know, but they talk about the Great Reset. And then the World Economic Forum says, you will own nothing. You will rent everything. But when farmers don't have their own seed sovereignty and they have to buy patented seed, I have watched how Indian farmers are driven to suicide and they lose their land. That's the reason they commit suicide. India has lost 400,000 farmers. And our studies show 85% of these were in the GMO cotton belt. Gates wants to merge and is merging very, very fast digital technologies, biotechnology, finance into one control system. This year, recently, he signed agreement, Microsoft signed agreements with the government to basically harvest and mine the data of our farmers, their land data. Why would Gates want India farmers land data? Because if farmers got into debt for chemicals and seeds earlier, now they will get into debt for buying data for buying instructions their heads are being emptied out and now what what's the soil how much water do you need will all be sold as big data to farmers that will be the new enslavement that will be the new slavery and if they have their way we will have a world of landless people we will have a world with no food that's why he's also preparing to work with the gate, with the buyers and the Monsantos on these giant sized raw systems where soya and corn was already turned into raw material with biofuel and animal feed, but he wants it to even disappear as food. All food will be raw material for lab made food, which is why he's rushing into patterns on fake food. Again, as climate solution. Can you imagine breast milk made in labs as a climate solution? Impossible Burger. He is so desperate to find places where he can make money at the cost of nature, at the cost of women, at the cost of small farmers and peasants of the world. His greed is insatiable and it comes from a very deep insecurity, uh, insecurity of anything that can be sovereign, self-sufficient, alive and happy. He cannot deal with that. He's a sick man. I have called him the new Columbus. And there's a huge global movement on decolonization. So we need to recognize that he is the new colonizer and he has a new civilizing mission with a new religion, which is impose your technological fixes and your false solutions on the world through violence, through destroying democracy, destroying regulation. He has spent seven, I don't know how many million dollars to undercut the biosafety regulations of Europe so that his gene edited GMOs can go through. But he is also the new Monsanto because 34 years ago, it was the biotech industry that woke me to the issue of seed patenting. And that's why I started to save seeds. And what we did with Monsanto is what we have to do with Gates. He wants our seeds. We have to start saving seeds, defending our seed sovereignty, defending our freedom. 
Today, we have launched a campaign. Akshat is the name also of rice. We've launched a campaign against Bill Gates and the International Rice Research Institute, which he now controls, through where he wants to introduce a golden rice by destroying our rices and then pushing golden rice, a totally fake solution to vitamin A deficiency. We've said, we will reclaim our seed and you give back our seed. Every period of colonization has created people's urge for freedom. And in India, our urge for freedom was expressed in two ways. We will make our own cloth. We will not be subjected to the cotton empire. And we will say no to laws like the salt laws, which make it illegal for us to make salt. So no matter what kind of laws you put in place, and no matter what you try and steal from us, we will protect our resources. We will protect our sea, our food, our knowledge, our sovereignty. And this means that most of the world is getting affected by Gates' action, and most of the world can rise against him by doing the simple things that protect our freedom.